uh, what changes can take place in our society that can uh, enable us to uh, feel more protected or feel more safe for particularly black women and girls? So there's a couple of things. Um, so I have a program, it's called the MBA program, Mind, Body and Arms. And that focuses on your mindset, number one, your body, meaning what you can do with your body physically to protect yourself. And then arms, of course, if things escalate where you need to use a firearm and now you have that, right? So I think what can change is really giving people a well-rounded, um, you know, holistic view of what safety looks like. Because I think even, and I've had this conversation with other instructors as well, firearms instructors that, you know, some people think, or even some women think that I have a firearm, I'm good. But what if you drop it? Can you protect yourself? Do you know where to hide? Do you know the steps in your home if the lights are out to get down the stairs, right? Do you know your insides and outsides? So there's so many pieces and parts to self-defense and protecting yourself than just a firearm and or just martial arts, right? So I think what we need to do as a society is to make, to normalize safety for every individual. And, you know, for women, I think, you know, um, not just culturally, but historically, and traditionally, we look to the men to be the, the protectors, which I am still 100 percent, you know, believe that the right man in your life should right protect you. But on the flip side, if something happens to that man in that moment, what are you going to do? Right. There's nothing worse than it's almost like, you know, if something happens to the dad, now the kid's looking up to you, mom, what to do next? Right. What are you going to do in that moment? What, what can you how can you look your child in the face, you know, or your loved one in the face and say, I got us if you really don't? So I think it's just really important just making sure we have a holistic, well-rounded view of safety and, you know, that mindset, because there's certain things. The reason why I created the program, the MBA program is there's a lot you can do with just your mind alone. And something else we talk about in martial arts is that the best fighters are the ones that don't have to fight. And people are looking weird, like, what do you mean? We're here to learn how to fight. Well, guess what? If I cannot be there when that situation happened, because I thought my way out of it, right? to get out of it, or I thought my way out of not even getting into it by watching, you know, not going down an alley or making sure I check my, you know, look outside if there's a van next to my car, just making sure that mindset is on point before I even teach you how to fight. And then before I even teach you how to shoot is really important. So having that, you know, that that's those steps in safety uh, available to you, I think is really uh, going to help shift society when it comes to uh, self-defense and protection.